All right, enjoy that turkey in moderation. Not in moderation, the beautiful view as we look over downtown Indianapolis. That is almost picture perfect. Snap a picture on your phone, pause mm -hmm. it. Uh, right now, we're going to turn to meteorologist Drew Narsutis. I know we're talking about something more. Well, snow, perhaps, but yeah, all right. It doesn't get more beautiful than that. <laughs> yeah, that's sort of the dreaded word this time of year for some folks. Other folks are just waiting to see their first flake. So, uh, depending on where you fall on that, you may be happy or a little sad about this weekend coming up. <laughs> Let's take a look at our forecast outside, which conditions, for the most part, haven't been all too bad outside. We saw tons of sunshine here in Indianapolis, and we're going to continue to see at least mostly clear conditions early this evening. Moving into tomorrow, we will see partly cloudy skies, but it should still be on the bright side out there still got good viewing of what fall color still is lingering on some of those trees like the beech trees here in downtown Indianapolis in general I think tomorrow shouldn't be too bad although it won't be quite as nice as today today we got into the lower 50s outside we had tons of sunshine here in Indianapolis a little cooler off north a little bit warmer down south but in general everybody here in Indiana had a wonderful Thanksgiving and again uh, things aren't looking too bad outside right now we have clear skies temperatures at 44 will be dropping to right around freezing tomorrow morning uh, and you can see some parts off towards the north are already getting close to being in the 30s while some lingering places down south still at 50. Overall it's a quiet evening outside not much as far as clouds or rain to talk about on our satellite and radar. We do have a cold front poop moving through which usually is what gives us chances for clouds and rain but it's a relatively weak one so we will end up seeing maybe some cold w air moving in from the northwest behind this as we move into tomorrow as well as a couple of clouds moving in overnight. However, for the most part, we should be fine here on our future cast. We're going to see music moving into tomorrow. Again, a couple of clouds overnight, but not overwhelmingly cloudy. That's kind of the forecast for tomorrow as well. A couple of clouds here or there, especially the further you go towards the northwestern corner of the state. However, heavier cloud cover comes in tomorrow night into the next couple of days moving towards Sunday, which is going to be the peak of the cloud cover as well as chances for some precipitation for tonight. Clouds will be moving in, but again, this is a relatively weak cold front. It'll cool us down to near freezing tomorrow morning. However, it won't be bringing in any raindrops out there for us. As we move beyond this, tomorrow is going to be a nice sunny day out there to start things off. I think we're going to be under partly sunny conditions all day long, but those sunny moments are going to lead you to a really nice day outside, although a little bit cooler out in some locations like Pendleton, Indiana. Indiana, really all over. It's only going to be tomorrow evening that those extra clouds move into the forecast and not any impactful weather for us really almost anywhere in the United States for travel and getting home from Thanksgiving fun. You can see Friday off towards the west, Saturday pretty far off towards the west. So if you're going out to Denver, you might be a little tricky, but uh, the, our weather here in our region doesn't get a little bit uh, slick until Sunday. That's when, again, chances for heavier rain and maybe even a few snowflakes move into the forecast. Take a look at our Circulus Digital Media 8-day forecast forecast and we're going to show you guys a cooling down coming our way. High temperatures on Monday are likely to be the coldest point, 34 degrees, so just above freezing is the warmest we'll get on Monday morning hours out there. Tuesday morning, uh, maybe near the mid-20s outside and it looks like we'll warm up with some sunshine later next week.